I love the flexibility of Visa gift cards. They can be used to buy almost anything. But one of the most common questions I get on my blog is why won't my Visa gift card work online? In this video, I'll share my best hack for using Visa gift cards online. I'm Shelly Hunter, gift card girlfriend. As your consumer guide to gift cards, my goal is to help you pick the best gift card for any occasion and use the full value of the gift cards you already have. So if you like to give gift cards or sometimes feel like you get stuck with a gift card you can't use, then subscribe to this channel for tips and tricks on all things gift cards. Now in this video, we're talking about Visa gift cards online. Before I share my hack for using gift cards online, seriously, I do this all the time. Let's first talk about eight reasons why your Visa gift card might not be working online, because that could be the bigger problem you're facing. Some Visa gift cards must be activated. Activation can be confusing because we sometimes use the term to describe two different events. If you buy a gift card at a store, the cashier will activate it, meaning load value onto the card as you make the purchase. They'll often hand you an activation receipt as well, which I always advise holding onto in case there's a problem with the card. So that's one type of activation. The second type of activation is when you receive a gift card in the mail, either because it was purchased at giftcards.com or another site, or you received it as part of a customer reward program, like a rebate. Often you'll find a sticker across the front of the card or some type of instruction telling you to activate the card before use. So you'll need to follow those instructions to call a phone number or go to a website to complete that process. To use a gift card online, you may have to register the card so you can add a name and address to the card. That data is going to be essential as you try to use the card online because most online systems will try to confirm the identity of the card holder. So look for instructions on the card itself or the packaging it came with to find out where to register the card. Now, if you don't go through that process or you can't find a way to do it, then ensure the name and address you enter for the card is the same that you enter for shipping. So if you're shipping something to Matt Black at 126 Main Street, then you would also enter Matt Black 126 Main Street in the debit or credit card fields. I can't guarantee this will work. It's better to register the card, but you can try it. To stop people from using stolen credit cards or other types of illegitimate means to purchase gift cards and then drain the value of those gift cards quickly, which is essentially money laundering, stores and gift card issuers sometimes block usage of the gift cards for a specified waiting period. So if you purchase a Visa gift card and then try to use it immediately online, the card may decline. Check your receipt or gift card packaging to see if a waiting period is listed. Gift cards purchased in the United States must be used in the United States, and that includes websites. So if you have a Visa gift card and you're at an IP address that is outside of the country, or you're in the US but you're trying to buy something on a foreign website, it won't work. Visa prohibits their gift cards from being redeemed on gambling sites, adult websites, and money transfer services like PayPal and Venmo. Visa gift cards will also decline if you try to use them for recurring bill payments, such as your streaming service, a utility bill, a gaming subscription. If you want to use a Visa gift card on one of those sites, see if you can make a single payment rather than registering the card for monthly payments. Several consumers have reported to me that they have difficulty using a Visa gift card on food delivery apps. Because the final amount paid is not known until the delivery is complete, my guess is that either the food delivery service is blocking Visa gift cards or there's a temporary hold placed on the card that's over the dollar value of the gift card. Let me explain that further. When you make a purchase at a restaurant, a salon, a gas station, a hotel, or any other type of service business, Credit card processing systems are coded to anticipate a change in the final amount paid to allow for tips, incidentals, or other adjustments. If you rent a car, for example, you have to leave a bank card on file to ensure you'll be able to pay the final amount due. That may include damages, gas, keeping the car an extra day, 
Because you cannot exceed the value of a gift card, some merchants will not accept Visa gift cards when you make a reservation because they want to be sure they can charge the full amount owed if something changes. Now, you can get around this by making the reservation with a debit or credit card, but completing the final sale with the gift card. The same is true at a restaurant. If you give a cashier a gift card to pay for a $25 meal, the system will authorize the card for $25 plus what it calculates to be a reasonable tip. If that temporary amount is greater than the value of the gift card, the transaction will decline. Now again, to get around this, you tell the cashier to run the card for a specific amount and that you'll pay the tip with cash or another card. Now, that works if you're in person, but if you're online, there's no cashier to adjust the purchase for you. So if you're trying to use a Visa gift card to pay for something online or through an app where the final amount to be charged isn't known at the time of purchase, then the transaction may decline. But stick around for my hack at the end because I might be able to solve that for you as well. Finally, a gift card transaction will decline online if you are trying to make a purchase that's greater than the funds available on the card. I know that seems obvious, but the total amount might sneak up on you if your online purchase amount increases due to taxes, shipping, and handling. The problem is most online shopping carts will only let you enter one bank card, such as a debit or credit card. Since the Visa gift card goes into the bank card fields, there's no way to use the value of the Visa gift card and a second bank card to complete the purchase. Using more than one type of payment is called a split tender transaction or partial payment. And that is where my hack comes in. Although you cannot pay with a Visa gift card and another bank card, you can make a purchase with multiple store gift cards. So that's what I do. The first step is to use my Visa gift card to buy a store e-gift card for the exact same amount making sure to pick digital delivery so it comes right away. When the store e-gift card arrives, then I can use both the store e-gift card and my debit or credit card to complete the purchase. Yes, it takes an extra step, but it's the only way I know to do a partial payment online using a Visa gift card. But I do have two other suggestions. If you can call the website, you may be able to make a partial payment purchase online if the online cashier can run the transaction for you. Again, you'd have to ask for the Visa gift card to be used first for the amount you specify, and then you would complete the purchase with another form of payment. Secondly, although people sometimes have problems using Visa gift cards online, they often work better in person because you don't have to worry about blocked websites registering a name and address to the card, and it's easy to get a cashier to run a card for a partial payment if needed. Now, this hack is especially important if you have a Visa e-gift card, sometimes called a Visa virtual account, because those cards can only be used online, and oftentimes the amount on your card does not exactly match the dollar amount you need to spend. So keep that in mind if you have a virtual Visa e-gift card. Okay, I've shared eight reasons why a Visa gift card won't work online and my favorite trick for using Visa gift cards online. If I answered your question about why your Visa gift card isn't working, please give this video a like. If you have other gift card questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below as I'll use that list to pick my next video topics. And don't forget to subscribe if you need help picking out the best gift cards for any occasion or using the full value of the gift cards you already own. Happy gift card and thanks for watching.